today we will extend this by addition of a solid phase. So this solid will have become part of a reaction, but in order to do this, it has first to go from the solid phase into the liquid phase, and this is a mass transfer process. And Dynochem can model these mass transfer processes by a knowledge of a so-called mass transfer rate, which is a physical rate constant, and the solubility. So in the process scheme, this looks now in this way that we still have our liquid phase where the chemistry happens, displayed in this simple one with just a, a single line chemistry, and uh, still described by a chemical rate law with the chemical reaction rate constant. And in addition, we now have a solid phase, and to represent this, we need to add two other parameters to our system. So the mass transfer rate constant, which is a first order rate constant, so the typical uh, unit is one over a second, and we have a thermodynamics parameter. In this case, for solid liquid, it is the solubility. So that describes what is the maximum concentration of uh, uh, a solid in the liquid in chemical equi equilibrium. And in order to do so, we need to increase our standard liquid uh, phase reaction model by defining an additional solid phase. So with the same or similar syntax as all phases are handled. So we have the, uh, the name phase, the keyword for Dynochem to understand this. We have to uh, get a unique uh, identifier. So we call it here solid, but you will find in Dynochem resources quite often also the name crystals. And we need to tell Dynochem that that is a solid phase and that is by this keyword solid. And you see, in contrast to uh, gas phases and uh, liquid phases, there is only one option. You have solid, and that means it is solid defined set by density. So you know in, in a liquid phase, for example, you can define a solid by the volume, set volume. So the volume is constant, and then the, uh, the density is calculated, or you can define it by the density. So the density is set, and the volume is calculated. Here it is only, only one choice, and that is the density. And this density is used by Dynochem then to calculate the volume of the phase, of the solid phase. And it's also important to understand that this volume of the phase, once part of the, the solid has been dissolved, transferred to the liquid phase, then the liquid phase volume increases just by the volume of this uh, solid. So that is the use of the, the density. And it is the real physical density, so not the bulk density. And then again, we have the temperature. And usually, all solids only contain one component. So if you have more than one solid, you should define another phase, and you should uh, name it with a different name. So you can have as many solids in your system, but then you have uh, uh, the uh, number of, of phases will increase. And the reason is clear. The phases may, the different solids may have different densities, and they may also have different uh, physical properties and difficult, uh, different uh, rates and solubilities. So I use the other model, the William. So Williamson synthesis. So that is now with the with the standard. So as you see here, the analytics I had to define that what Dynochem sees from the analytical data is actually the sum of phenol and phenolate. And uh, the scenarios now contain all the three experiments. And I have already done the fitting here. Uh, it takes a couple of minutes, and you have to fit each line line by line. You cannot fit over all three experiments because you you do have changed the KLA. So uh, because the experiment two has a, a different uh, a mass transfer rate. And you see it is. So that is the result of the fitting. So it's quite good result. The chemistry gets the same cons uh, rate constant. And the uh, 
the mass transfer you see is the same when we got the same powder and it was higher when we got the milled powder with the uh, increased KLA. So what we need to do then is, can our equipment agitate in the way that we can suspend these large amounts of potassium, of solid potassium carbonate? And in order to check this, we have uh, an, a tool, a utility, and that is the solid liquid utility, and that has included the uh, Swittering equation and helps you now as a function of your equipment to calculate this. 